welcome back to my channel this is Shasha SJ thank you so much for coming by today and I'm so happy that you are here all right today we are going to continue our part four for our gnome series and I'm so happy to um, to make this continuation because the last part three that I have it was super long and I was like oh I need to put this in a part four so sorry if this could be a part four it's almost the same but if you want to see it for a sock uh, gnome kind of way for a planter kind so go check this out and keep it going keep it going so let's go and let's get started here we go The next gnome we are going to make is from the planter again, a sock. I got this from the dollar store as well and you get this for two pairs which is awesome. So you have four in here and the leftover from that little ornament of a bell and this ornament and the vase filler i use this one for the gnome's nose and we are going to use the leftover tea light candle from that gnome and of course a felt for the gnome's nose and the one from the leftover from the headband so we are going to use this as well just like what we used in this little gnome Aren't they pretty or what? It's just too cute. All right, so let's get started. Of course, you are going to make your glue gun preheated. All right, and first what we are going to do is I'm going to remove this tag here and I am going to grab as well this sock and I hope this will fit. I only need one. So I kind of like want to use in this area is I want to use the see this is your sock here and I want to cut this area down here so I can stretch more and here we go and I like to tuck this in here to the gnome this area Ta-da! OMG, this fits so perfectly. Here we go. And all you have to do is just work on it because this one is what we're going to use for the gnome's beard so it'll be covered. All right. Now I am going, see this little pointy down here? This is going to be my, the one that will give me an estimation because I like to estimate all the time. <laughs> So this is going to be where I'm going to put the beard. So this area is going to be covered anyways. So just like that. So that's why I want that in there. So it's all clean down here at the bottom where the flat surface is. Okay, so I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut just like that. Maybe just a little bit so it's more... I, I like to cut a little bit bigger so then the the longer the fabric is or the sock size is if ever I make a mistake I won't regret because there is something that can cover my area okay and then if you make it shorter then it's going to be not very good idea so what I like is I like to glue them first on that inside part where the lip of that door so then they are more secured in that area first so I just like to keep on going just like so and of course I'm going to glue them again because this hanging right here I don't like that so I have to glue them in the inside area so now I'm going to grab 
this end part and glue that inside. All right. Be very careful, guys, because it's a little bit of hot. So be very careful with your glue. And like right now, I'm just working on this area to make this sock glued inside of this jar or planter. And you can tell that it is hanging out because it will peek on you. All right, so now it's totally nice and clean. And all you have to do is clean those glue guns web because they left some web in there. There you go. And just, I like to use a lint roller because it's so perfect to clean. And it's fast and easy when you use a lint roller. And there you go. There it is. That area or that gnome's body is already done. Next, we are going to work on this gnome's hat again the same way of what we did to the other gnome's hat. So I just break this little piece down here because we don't need that anyways. And I just like to break it down because we don't need it. And cut this one with the scissors. You can usually estimate at the same time like what I did. And there you go. Now that is, you can just work it on whatever the leftover down there. You just work it down like that. Because then you will cover them anyways with that ball ornament. There you go. And toss this one away and throw them away. And we are going to use this ornament. Just like this. We are going to tuck this inside. See this little hole down there? It will show you somewhere to where to go. And I just like it like that this time. Be very generous with your glue, guys. It is very helpful if you are generous with your glue. And you can work on some places that are dangling at the same time. You just tuck it in there very slowly. And there you go. There is your hat. Ta-da! And it's done for this part. Look at that. Super cute. Next is we are going to work on our headband gnomes fur or beard this is well glued guys and you can break that headband if you want to if you want to and I'm going to remove this area because it's kind of super thick in there. So I want that removed. That's a glue from that headband that's been glued to that headband. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to cut an angle down here so that gnome's nose will sit where it's supposed to and i'm going to cut down here for the gnome's nose all right so there you go there is an angle for the gnome's nose all right so let's work on our gnome's nose now gotta grab your felt and your 
vase filler for the nose. If you have a marble, you can use a marble as well. But right now, I'm just going to use this because it's the one that I have. I don't have a marble. So, I'm just going to use that. Because that's the one that I have right now. So, let's just use that, alright? So, all you have to do is just tuck this in here. Put some glue. And meet the corner. And glue them all together and it's super hot guys super hot and you just have to work it on just like so until it reached to the point where it's supposed to okay and those flopping area you can just glue them off see just like this you can just glue them out okay Sorry about my glue gun. It's well loved. <laughs> okay. So my glue gun is super loved, guys. I use it many, many times. And I have the super heat glue one that was super hot, hot. But I don't want a glue gun that slobbers a lot. So when you have a medium heat or the low temp, the one that I have is a low temp. They still slobber. So I don't want that, you know. I don't want a super hot, because then when it's super hot, then it keeps slobbering on my table, and I don't want that. Now, what I want to do is I like to, because this is going to be where the beard's going to be, so I want that part goes like that. See that pokey is going to be inside right there. And I'm going to put my nose down in here, just like so. And here we go. Let's put a blob of glue down here. There. Be very generous with your glue, guys. So if you want to keep your item for a long time, then you will have a long-lasting craft that you just made. And the reason why I have to cut it that looks like a V shape or a U shape is that so then I put the nose in there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tons of glue in that area. And you just have to tuck it in that nose in that part. Okay, just tuck it in. And work it out. There you go. Look how cute that is. And now it's time to move our gnome's hat in that area. So let's work on this one for a few. This one is kind of moving so much. So I'm just trying to work on this. I need to put more glue in this area so it's not moving. Tuck it in there and glue it down. And glue this to... There you go. And see that pokey, guys? This is where the hat is going to go. That's why I keep that. I don't struggle to remove it because it's going to be covered anyways. And now next is I'm going to cover this up with the glue. And I thought I'm going to need more glue stick in that area. So pretty soon I might need it. Yep, I do. Glue stick is super handy, guys. It's so easy. And I want it just like that. There you go. Yeah. 
And there is our second gnome. And I like to secure this area so the pink will not show. So I'm going to secure it with a glue again. And ta-da! There you go! Super cute! There is our two gnomes. We just made two gnomes. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to move this tea light candle inside this gnome. Alright, so let's remove that and it will turn on. It does turn on, which is perfect. And I'm going to put that inside there. And I'm going to turn off the light. Mm -hmm.